Oh gosh, yeah, get in Newey, come to Newey. We're going to break the record for a Matildas game. I am stoked, you know, USA is obviously number one and the girls are all buzzing for it. I'm so pumped, it's not every day you get to verse an opposition like the US and they haven't been here in 21 years, which I wasn't even born, so it's a really exciting time. I think this time we're just super stoked to be able to interact with the fans a bit more and obviously the crowd's going to be massive there and we're going for a sellout so I think that's very exciting the first US at home. It's just another great opportunity for us and you know there's different things being said. They're a young squad and they have a bright future ahead of them so it's going to be a battle for us as well. Today's session's about trying to get to our players as they arrive into camp are uh, all on the same page. So some of our players have played large minutes, some have travelled large distances and others have been local attendees. So today's about getting them back in the swing of their weekly routine, trying to increase some blood flow, some mobilisation and, and some activation ready for our field session. The idea is that we can try and get them into their normal week in preparation for our game on Saturday, balance out their loading and make sure that they're ready to go. It feels so damn good to be back in Australia. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time, so I'm finally here and I'm buzzing. The kind of threats that the USA pose, all round attacking, defending, dominating middle of the pitch, I think they're just like a very physical, fast, solar team. And, and I think for us, that's the kind of team that we want to verse. You saw the game against Brazil, how attacking it was, how exciting it was, and we want to verse that kind of team. I think that kind of opposition brings out the best in us. We need to go in on that Saturday not just with good tactics, but with a good mindset and fresh heads and fresh legs. Because like you said, we're going for that fist punch and going for the knockout. We have to be fresh and energized when we do that. And we need to take care of ourselves in order to be fresh on Saturday. That's maybe the number one thing in the game plan. Okay, thanks for today, everyone. Bit of rain. <laughs> we try to do everything we can, similar to World Cup final, meaning how would we prepare them to be physically and mentally intact in the best place possible to, to play the game tomorrow. And, and I also said that this is going to be an historical game. If and hopefully we break that record, people in a decade from now are going to say, I was there. I was there breaking that record, I was there and we're going to look at this as a, as a crossroad game for the Matildas and the women's football game in, in Australia. It's going to be huge tomorrow and I, I can't wait to be part of that. Even though I'm just a small part of it, I can't wait. If you want to warm down, that's fine. If you want to do some position specific stuff, it's up to you, okay? Good training everyone, good job. to bring the curtain down on an historic year for the Matildas against the world's best, the United States of America. In front of a huge crowd at Stadium Australia, Tamika Yallop captains the side on the day she earns her 100th cap. Here goes Ellie Carpenter. We have some very good news despite the scoreline, which is this afternoon we have a new record crowd for a home match of the Matildas, 36,109. A little bit gutted we didn't get the win, but uh, definitely excited to be playing in the stadium and in front of so many fans. We're leading into 2023 and to have the crowd that we did today is absolutely awesome. 36,000 fans, record breaking. I feel bad because I've been so sick this week, I haven't really got to meet you, so I'm sure I'll make up for it. But um, 
No, it's good to have you on the team. I thought the one session I did watch you train, I thought you looked really bright. It's a special family to be a part of and one you'll be a part of forever now. Yeah, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for all the coaching staff for putting your faith in me and putting me on that pitch today was incredible and a day I'll never forget. It's honoured that I get to, to present your 100 jersey. I know I'm not surprised at what you've achieved um, throughout your career, but it, it's definitely been a hell of a journey and everyone here is so proud of you and, and congratulations and I know your family is really proud of you as well. Well done, thanks. Thanks guys. I mean, thanks to all the staff and of course all the players and people that aren't in this room that have been a part of it as well. It melted my heart to see my family before the game on, on camera, but it was uh, seeing the words that, that you girls as teammates had to say about me that, that brought tears to my eyes. So thank you so much for being a part of that. You guys really are like a second family to me. I mean, I've been a part of this team for a very long time and, and I think... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't start. Um, yeah, I just definitely cherish putting on this jersey and, and standing next to everyone, every single one of you and playing my heart out on the field. And today we didn't get the result but I definitely had all the feels so thanks for, thanks for being there and, and yeah, like I said, thanks for being my second family. Let's go. Honestly, since I came into the Matildas, it's it's night and day. The amount of people that you walk past and they say good luck and they recognise who you are, they want a photo, they want to talk about the game. It's it's so different and it just shows how far we've come as a team and you know, how much the public are enjoying watching us and, and love us as a team. Welcome to Newcastle, one of the cradles of football in Australia, where women's football started all the way back in 1928. Australia versus the United States of America, take two. Yay! And away she goes, Penny Reza. All set to go for the second half here in Newcastle. The teams still divided by that early goal. That's nice. Yellow. First up, it's going to be another look at Claire Wheeler. Good scrapping by Wheeler. It's a big round of applause from the gallery. In towards Kerr. Kaya Simon, deflection in! Australia equalise! And it's 1 1. We went out there and we never gave up. We stayed in the game. We had a bit more about us today. We had fight, we had belief. And you know, sometimes you just need to grind out a result, which we did today. The support in Australia has been amazing at both games, both in Sydney and here in Newey. We hear them and it's just so nice when you're out there playing for your country to know that so many people are supporting you. Thank you. Good to be back out there, 50 caps. I feel honored and yeah, love this team.